Hello everyone, welcome to the most difficult place to navigate in Tokyo and dubbed the best place to stay by Google, Shinjuku. And today I'll be taking you to my favorite places to visit. It's around 12 right now and I'm so hungry because I haven't really eaten breakfast. So the first place we're gonna go today is gonna be a ramen shop. But I'm so tempted to eat bubble milk tea too because I'm very very hungry and I'm super tired. So this is the first place I'll be taking you is a restaurant that serves tonkotsu ramen, pork bone soup. So the reason I'm taking care of you guys is because last night I actually went drinking and I'm super hungover right now so I need that warm soup to wake me up and cure this bad hangover right now. brought the tickets for the ramen noodle and they have asked me to order the hardness of the noodle. I will post the hardness level right here. The ramen just came. If you do order the kaidama, I recommend the hardness for barikata, which means very firm. The noodle refill looks like this. And you just add it to your soup. And you can also add um, like flavoring. Kaidama tare, tare. Kaidama tare, a bit. So if you want to add some spiciness to your noodle, you can also add some, some condiments. A called a pickled mustard leaf called takana. And you usually hit chopsticks for this so that it doesn't get contaminated. It looks like that. It is a spicy, salty flavor to your ramen. Just finished eating um, breakfast slash lunch. That definitely woke me up and filled my stomach so much. I am actually super full from the refill. Maybe I should have ordered a refill, but eh, it's alright. So the next place that we're gonna go to is a place that I'm gonna visit to burn off some of the food I just ate and sweat off some of the alcohol from last night. Let's head to our next place right away. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> We're just walking there and passing a lot of hotels. If you didn't know what it is, don't Google it up. But we're almost there, so let's walk a bit further. Shot. I'm a natural at this. I am so sweaty. Definitely. Definitely from the batting cage. All the cold sweat is getting to my face. So let's go to our next place to cleanse ourselves. So if you guys haven't already guessed it, the next place that we're going to go to is a bathhouse which is right behind me, called Manenyu. So since it's a bathhouse, I can't really take much footage inside. And this one is located right in the middle of K-Town. And it has around four types of bath. And the cost to go in is around, it's only 500 yen. It is also friendly to people who are tattooed because a lot of, most Japanese onsen usually don't allow you to go in if you have a tattoo. 
And again, since it is a bathhouse, I can't really bring you guys inside with me. So here are some insert of me taking a bath. It's different. Just finished taking a bath. It's so relaxing. Although this bath is not the most luxurious or like the most crazy bathhouse out there, it's pretty convenient because it's located right in the middle of the center, city center. And it's pretty cheap too, it's only 500 yen. Now that's getting a little bit dark, let's go grab some drinks. Finish of the night, I'm here at this restaurant to eat some yakitori. Like After a the bath, I've got a bit hungry, so let's go inside and grab some skiro chicken yakitori. In this shop, you can actually order the food by using the tablet. And if you don't know anything, if you can't read Japanese, you can actually use Google Translate and they all have some pictures to show you which part of the chicken is which part. Japanese shio translates to salt and tare is sauce. So when you order some of these menus or screwed chickens, you can pick either for you can you can grill it with salt or grill it with um, sauce. The first stick just arrived, which is the grilled liver. Looks like that. And I ordered it in the tare sauce, so it's covered in like sweet sauce. Uh, like sweet soy sauce. <laughs> the liver is so freaking good. It's so soft and it's grilled perfectly, so it's not too dry. It tastes like butter. Like, oh god, I love liver so much. <laughs> Next up, I ordered is the torikawa, which is chicken skin. <laughs> This is amazing if you haven't tried it before. And I recommend ordering it, <coughs> ordering it with the um, sauce, the tare. Next up is the bonjiri, which is to um, chicken's butt. This is in salt because I like it salt better. I mean, and you can order it as both of salt um, or <laughs> sauce, but I recommend you order it in salt. They grill it in salt so well, and the crispiness is just right. You can smell the charcoal too, so it tastes amazing. So, our last menu of the day came. It is the yaki onigiri grilled rice ball in a miso and negi sauce. I still want to eat this. I'll eat it like a sandwich, I guess. Well, the grilled rice is really crispy on the outside, and the seaweed really helps bring out that like, smoky flavor. It's really good. Let's pay for. I pay for the food. I think if you write a review for this restaurant, you also get 10% off. Oh, I got it. So you actually pay from the um, QR code. Uh, I guess you write a review and you'll get 10% off for this restaurant. Just finished eating the food. It was really good. But since the shop is a bit small, I recommend you guys um, book here and call and book in advance. And I think there's a two hour eating limit because um, if you do eat too long, the, there's not much enough rotation. Since the shop is pretty small and there's not enough seats for everyone. But that is a close for tonight's video. If you guys are interested in seeing these kind of videos in the future, please follow my channel. See you guys in the next episode. Bye!